Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Today's video is a little bit different from normal because I had an experience that I definitely had to share with you. No, it wasn't anything surprising to me, but I believe that awareness is necessary and if anybody can be derailed from being scammed by this video, then my job would have been done. Also, this is a financial literacy page and in order to be fully literate, you need to know what to do, but also what not to do and know when to raise a red flag. So, the other day I got a DM. I'm going to put it here. I got this DM from what I assumed to be a bot and this bot was referring me to some other influencer looking person who can teach me how to pump lesser known coins and gain interest and gain traction you know i then you know curiosity i went over to that person's page just to see what's going on over there and of course he is living the life he looks great he has you know money traveling and also bragging about how much money he has made from cryptocurrency the person has since blocked i mean privated their instagram page but so what this D, what this dm does not say explicitly is that they're running a pump and dump scheme so what a pump and dump scheme is it's where someone purchases an asset something that is not really known they create a demand for it they create a hype for it they they let everybody think that they really really need it so once they create more buzz and more people get interested, then the price of this asset is going to keep going up. You know, the greater the demand, the greater the price. So they keep generating this demand and the price goes up. Then the person who initiated the frenzy, once the price reaches somewhere that they are happy with or they are satisfied with, they then sell their assets and cut. So they would have made a profit because they bought it when nobody knew it and then they're selling it when it's really high and they're getting out so they have made their money but then the persons who fell for it especially in the latter stage with persons who fall for it get left with something that nobody wants to buy because if there's nobody consistently pumping the interest into this asset then the value is going to drop and you being the last person who bought it at the highest price you lose your investment now pump and dump is nothing unique to cryptocurrency this is something that has been happening for years it will happen in different asset classes but it's something that you need to be aware of they do it with stock sometimes they do it with um, they can even do it with real estate depending on the market that you're in anything you can get um, hyperinflated create a demand for it and then sell when the price is high and leave the you know the less savvy persons holding the bag so recently i well not so recently i had done a video some time ago about being mindful in your financial journey and in your quest to create your own wealth and i had given a couple tips and i'm going to mention them here so the first thing that you want to do when getting investment advice online or figuring out what you want to invest in or listening to financial information you want to find out about the person who is telling you things like who are you um who are you to tell me anything what's your qualification why should i listen to you so you should google people and if you haven't googled me by now why why haven't you googled me who am i right so you want to google people to kind of get more of a understanding of you know are they competent should i listen to them right so you want to do that um sometimes they can fake that you know but you know that's a first step the next thing you want to find out or you want to ask yourself when being presented with an investment option is what is in it for them and them is the person who is trying to sell it to you what is in it for them? Why are they trying to sell this to me? Why are they pushing so hard for me to buy something? If it's so great, why don't you keep it to yourself? Now, in general, investment brokers or persons selling investments make funds from fees and commissions or they make money from a spread. And a spread is where they purchase something at one price and then they sell it to you for a price higher than that. So they make a little profit in between. Nothing is wrong with that right and because the broker selling you stuff 
is making money it doesn't mean that you can make money too and they have to eat right <laughs> so but you want to understand how they are making money from it so that you you know you are more comfortable you know what you're getting yourself into if you are being sold something and you can't quite understand how the other person is making money from it you might want to understand a little bit more you might scratch your head and if the situation is that they are kind of hiding how they make money how how is it benefiting them if they're hiding that then you know you should say hmm and maybe ask someone the questions. next question you want to ask yourself is what is in it for me how am i going to make money from this investors generally make money from interest dividends or selling at a profit making the same spread they buy something and sell it back at a higher price right so you want to figure out what is the what is the game plan here with this investment how will i make money from it and is what they are saying possible is it plausible even if suppose they're saying okay you can make interest you can make dividends you can sell it back at a higher profit is that realistic like it sounds good on paper but when you look at it is it a realistic thing for you to believe what you are being presented with so investing is a risk of course and returns are never guaranteed so i'm not saying that but there should just be some something realistic about the possibility of making these returns and uh, so you just want to have those kind of loose guidelines in your mind about how things work when you're looking at investment options and as i said the greater the risk the greater the reward but you want to just know what you're getting yourself into so that you make the best decisions for yourself and so that you don't get got and so that these pump and dump people don't pump up their pockets and leave and dump dump worthless assets on you so guys uh, just be careful out there and stay safe